Hey guys, Chris Meyer back with another video. In this video today, we're going to be drawing some manga panels in real time for my manga Bounty Skate. Uh, we're going to be drawing these three panels here. This is my storyboard, and this is page 15 of the first chapter. So, let's get this started. Um, we got this broken up into three sections vertically, so I'm just going to try to quickly get in... Uh, A break here so that way I don't have to do these bottom panels right now like lay them out if I don't want to but I'm gonna at least do that because uh, I know I'm gonna then cut down this way in the middle for that one so let's go up here looks like I go straight all the way up looks like I don't do anything not too different yeah let's just go straight up here All right, so right now this side is actually going to be our gutter, so nothing goes on this side at all. This is the part that's gonna be the binding of the book if it ever goes into print. Um, I wanna make sure to actually either move this over this way or that I'm gonna move it over this way. I don't want it to line up with this one, so. I'm gonna do that. And we're actually going to cut this one. Mm, yeah, mm. yeah, I guess we can cut it all the way out like that. Which will make us get rid of this. And for those of you who are wondering, I am drawing this on regular printer paper, because what I do um, for these videos specifically, I draw them on printer paper, and then I take them in digitally, and I ink them from there. Roughly like that. All right. So now we can get started with this one. Uh, I think I'm going to, I want to make sure the, all the bubbles stay roughly. Like that, there we go. And let's do this bubble down here. I'm going to change them if I have to. So the perspective is going to be about right here. This is going to be the horizon line. I'll talk a little bit when I uh, think of something I want to say, but right now I'm just trying to decide if I, how accurately I want to follow my storyboard panel. Once again, I can show you the storyboard panel here. I'm trying to see how far I wanted to twist his body to the side. All right, so. All right, now let's get into go ahead and doing some of his clothing here.
And uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the last page, and uh, this is kind of what the get up the uniform kind of looks like on it. So. trouble there. All right. Uh, what does it look like in the thumbnail? Uh, Can you tell if this guy's a nice guy or a mean guy? goes once you crinkle that paper there's no going back <laughs> you know what I'm saying you crinkle the edge of the paper
Go. There we go. There's the first panel. Now we already know the perspective the perspectives here, so I would put the vanishing point over here somewhere, most likely. And we'll be able to do stuff from there. But I gonna move on to doing a little bit of these panels here. There we go. And all right, let's get started on this one, which is this panel here. All right, so let's get in the panel here. <laughs> the panel, the speech bubble. Mm, I might need to make it a little bit bigger than that. Center this so that way you guys can see it. Um, let's not go up too high. Let's expand. Yeah, that should be good enough. Don't really like how. Ooh. I almost bent the paper. I might have to adjust, adjust this. Um, I might bring this down a little bit because I don't like bringing the top of the bubble too far to the, I don't like bringing the bubble too far to the top of the page. It can feel a little weird when it goes into print and stuff. I might square this off a little bit more digitally, make the bubble look a little bit better. But right now, if I do this too much on this type of paper, it's going to make it look funny. So, <clears throat> all right. So I'm probably going to do a slightly more below view here. I'm going to go for something like... All right. Plane going overhead right now. You guys will probably hear that pretty well. see his hand a little bit like this, his thumb, his finger, the rest of the finger like this. Mm, don't really like that, it feels a little forced with the hand position there. Maybe I'll try to have him Isolate where the hand is. Maybe I'll try to have him 
grab his tie. So what I'm going to do is this is hand. Thumb would go up onto it. So we're going to push that down there. Wedge of the hand. Finger. Other fingers. Then arm down this way. Let's put in a cuff. This being his other hand. So he, it's almost like he's tightening his tie here. Don't know how I like it. I can always change it if I want to, but I'll reevaluate to see if I. This is different than what's on the thumbnail, and you might be asking, why am I changing it then? Well, one of the reasons why I'm changing is because I'm looking at the next page. In the next page, the position I have him in, in one of the panels that I want to keep like that, um, he's in the almost the same position in this panel, the same kind of emotion with the way he's moving his hands. And I want to keep that in that panel on the next page. On this pa panel, I feel like I could uh, change it up a, a bit. Since this is below, we're actually not going to see much of that part. We're not going to see as much as I'm, as I'm giving off there. Well... His shoulder, I am pushing it up, but still gonna go over. Page, I feel like could have gone a little smoother than how I'm drawing it. I like to blame it on me being tired, but let's not do that. Let's own it. <laughs> Don't like to make excuses. It's no way to go about life making excuses. You can't make an excuse to someone for not making a deadline. Unless it's legitimate, like you getting hit by a car. <laughs>
All right, so now well, let's get in that guy. And uh, let's get in the blackout. Like, these are kind of unnecessary. <laughs> oh, I can put them in this part, too. Because I already know where they go, and when I go to ink it, it's not going to be very hard to know where to put them. So, technically, this is just wasting time, so I don't do this normally. But I want to make sure the aesthetics look cool for you guys in the video. But it does when you go to ink it, um, just give it a little bit more life to it. Hmm. All right. Going for a sound effect that's like sss, but spelling it, whatever. <laughs> sss. I might make that smaller digitally, not sure. But uh, let's clean that part up at least a little bit. I feel like I should. Wasn't going to, but bam. Clean that up. Last panel. So, panel here, and uh, yeah. It's going to be a simple Owen. Going to be emotionally based. We're going to make sure the other eye is not in it. Um, go all the way over here. We get the ear. This is going to be an F. FB. Flashback. Uh, Fest. It's a flashback to the festival. This emotion is supposed to be actually a little bit more indifferent. A lot quieter here in this one. I haven't been talking as much. Just been focusing on the page. Don't know how much you guys like that, but just trying something different. I haven't done a real time manga page on here in a long time. I think the last time was a stream, if I'm not mistaken. Not sure exactly. And that is a panel. go. We're at 25 minutes. Uh, I'll throw in a small little part here, which is just a pillar. And this is a 
and then let's make sure I'm not going super off camera here. There. I don't really have to do much more. I can like gauge like another pillar over here because the rest is going to be pretty, you know, very simple stuff from here when it comes to like backgrounds. But and uh, the floor is going to be all like a type of uh, brick. So, but yeah. In any case, uh, just letting you guys know, I have a lot of these type of real time stuff um, on my Patreon. You guys want to support my arts is definitely check me out there uh, i go much more in depth on my thought in my patreon with uh videos like this got a few real time ones up but in any case if you guys like this video definitely hit that thumbs up button share it to a friend or something if you really like it but in any case um yeah hit that thumbs up button if you're new to this channel hit the bell icon to get notified when each video comes out and subscribe like always like always <laughs> hope you guys are having a great day and uh i'll see you guys in the next video it was funny, I just tripped up on that. Anyways, have a good day, guys. Peace out.